morning folks, welcome to this week's video. So, a bit of a break this week, we're up at Narborough Fisheries today. Just gonna spend a night over here, doing a bit of fly fishing, and just uh, having a bit of a break from work and stuff. So, uh, really looking forward to uh, getting out and getting some, what on earth are you doing? It's up past nine in the morning. It's holidays, isn't it? It's gonna get messy. Right, so morning, thank you for joining us on this video today. So we're up at Narborough Lakes up in Norfolk, which is about 15 minutes away from Kings Lynn today. We're doing an overnighter today. There's uh, me and a few of the lads from work are just gonna have a bit of a, just let the steam go just for a bit, just for a bit of a bit of respite from work and whatnot, and do a bit of fishing at the same time. So we're at Narborough. Narborough Lakes is a mixed fishery, so you can fly fish here. There's also a specimen carp lake over there. And then of course, all of your usual sort of uh, course fishing that you've got here. It's got the campsite here as well it's got a little tackle shop and everything there so it's an absolutely brilliant place to come to even if just for the day or just come and spend a week here definitely recommend it right we're going to get ourselves all set up we're going to get all of the kit out and just get ourselves ready for this evening's festivities because i think it probably will get messy and uh, we're going to get the fly rods out and uh, we're going to teach old j rod a bit of fly fishing so it's his first time with a fly in his hand so we'll have to protect the old ears i believe so anyway we'll catch you in a bit Give that. I need to drink my beer. One job, Harris. One job. Guys, how are we doing? Is it John? Ready for it? He started early, look. Right then, so a little bit of a session here at Willow Lake here at Narborough. So we've paid for two fish to take and two fish to release. Uh, that was 26 quid, which I don't think is too bad really. And then you've got the other lake further up there, which is purely catch and release. And there's some massive big boys in there as well. So anyway, we're just going to find a space a little bit further up. They say they've been taking some gold-headed Montana, so we're going to give those a go and uh, we'll see how we get on. Fish on. Oh, I lost him. Fish on. Second one, let's try not to lose this one. See that on the surface there? She's there. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Lovely old job. Lovely, first one of the day. That is an absolute cracker, that is. Caught on that little yellow uh, gold-headed dewberry firkin. I don't know what that is. But I just had, uh, I just lost a fly and then just put that yellow one on and look what we found there. Now the fish, just do your, do your retrieve really slowly. Lovely old job. Woohoohoo! <laughs> oh. 
and away. Lovely old job. Number two is off. She's off. And I'm going to start swearing in a minute. Lovely old job. Let's see whether we can stop messing about and actually get this one in the net. This is number two. I've lost about seven. Well done, AQ. It's a nice one. That's a beaut, that is, isn't it? Yep. There we are. What an absolute cracking, cracking rainbow. That gave an absolute smash and fight, that did. So we've probably lost about eight fish, I think. So this is number two for me, but I'm well impressed with that. We're going to smoke these later on, so I'll show you how we're going to smoke them. But what a cracking fish. I've got two left on uh, catch and release, so well impressed. Definitely, let's get this on the stringer. Cheers boys. Oh, cheers boys. Cheers. Here's the yellow flies. Fucking Captain Bird's eyes. Good boy. We'll leave the boys fishing, head back to the van. I'm gonna get these old uh, fishies cleaned up. I'm gonna stick them in a the smoker and then we'll look at cooking some food for tonight. Now, tonight's food is just hashtag meat fest. Wait till you see what we're cooking. Oregano. Oregano. Right then, din din's time. So Mr. Harris has got the steaks and everything for us. Thank you, mate. What the hell is that? Is that dog treats or something? I think we need to fix that. That's a bit better. How do we like that little lot for tonight? Anyway, <laughs> I said it was going to be a meat fest with four fellas. Anyway, let's get this on the stove. Can you talk about that? Yeah, that holds the Yeah, that is insane. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And fucking scouts are lovely. Look at that. Lovely old job. Right, even though that isn't enough meat, we've got lamb chops. Some blade steaks, we've got some langoustines. Oh, Jeffrey is going to stick together a sauce for all of this as well. So it's looking good. It's like a really rubbish version of Hairy Bikers, isn't it? Why is it a rubbish version of Hairy Bikers? It's like bearded fishermen, isn't it, instead? Bearded fishermen? Yeah. You, caught hairy fish bikers. you caught fish. Bearded fisherman. Captain Bird's eye. <laughs> Fish finger man. <laughs> How are we going with that sauce, Turkish? Oh, I'm just chopping those ingredients up. How's that sauce going on, Turkish? Yes, it's doing all right. It will be done when it is done. How's that sauce going? It will be done when it is done. I've just spoken to the... So what have we got? So that's the most... That's the most done. Done. These are really that's, rare. That's probably mine because that's rare still rare. breathing. That's a medium rare. And that'll be medium rare as well. And that's probably a rare actually. No fucking prawns. No prawns. No, I ain't keen on them at the minute. Why are you not keen on prawns? I don't know, it's just the eyes keep looking at me. <laughs> oh my god, so. Gazza. I'll open that one. That one looks more cooked. I'll tell you what, your cat's vomit's nice, Jared. Thanks, mate. Well, I could easily say that that wasn't enough, but that was more than enough. 
I didn't even finish it, to be honest. But anyway, cheers to everyone. It's been an absolute cracking day out here today. Really enjoyed myself. A couple of decent sized fish. We've hot smoked all of those. We're now uh, having a bit of a clean up, or the boys are having a clean up, because I cooked, which means I don't have to clean up. A uh, couple of beers, hit the hay, and then we're going to be back out tomorrow. So, catch you in the morning. Right, good morning campers. My head is a little bit sore, a little bit hazy this morning. Probably got something to do with the amount of beer and the kraken that was consumed post meat fest last night. So plan is a couple of coffees and then we're going to literally crack open the breakfast, get that on the go and uh, head back to the to the lake down there. Oh look out, here comes the slave. Thank you very much Turkish. Right. Got my brew and uh, we're going to crack on and see what we can get today. But it's, it's bizarre isn't it, you know, the way that three people fish exactly the same method and only one catches. Really random. They think I've stitched them up and give them dud, dud flies. But uh, yeah, really random. Anyway. Let's get this down my neck. Hopefully that will sort my head out a little bit. The breakfast pack. <clears throat> right, let's get this fired up and try and loosen this old head with a bit of breakfast. Right, so that's the van all packed up, just parked in the car park just behind us there. So we've got another day's fishing today, and I mean, what an absolute cracking day it is today. T-shirt weather today. So another two fish to catch, another two fish to release, 26 quid. Uh, conditions a lot better today than what they were yesterday. There's not so much wind on the lake. There's a few sitting up on the surface there. We've got two rods set up today. I've got a sinking line and a floating line, same as what we were using yesterday. Anyway, enough gabbing. Let's get these in the water, see what we can get. There we are, lovely. <laughs> well, that's the first one of the day. Not as big as the ones we had yesterday. That was on that gold-headed magic yellow fly. But anyway, that is a cracking little fish. So looking forward to getting some others. Is there? Yes, 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 yes. At last, at last. Ugh, come on. Hey, not a bad fish, not a bad fish. Right, there we are, number two for the day. How big do you reckon, Gary? One and a half pound? Not two, is it? There we are, catch and release now. He's not liking that. He's a feisty one. Right, so as we've still got some time, I think we'll get these fish smoked out here as it's such a nice day. So we've got three cracking rainbows. Right then, so I'll just put some beechwood chips in there. Just put the plate over the top so that stops any water dropping onto the wood chips that are in there that's coming off the fish now the fish is going in i've got to try and fit them all in which is going to be tricky right so salting these the way i always do these is so i always salt the fish 
with double the amount of salt that you would if you were just cooking a sea fish. Lovely old job. So we'll stick a lid on and then we just need to fire up the roof. Right, and there we go. So that is the mess burners all lit. So we'll put that on, gas mark 40 for 40 minutes. Now that's gonna be about, you don't need long. Once that gets to temperature, you probably need about 10 minutes and uh, they'll be done. But absolutely brilliant bit of fish this is. Eat it hot, eat it cold. It's all cooked like this. This is a hot smoking method. So uh, yeah, let's give it a chance and uh, we'll see how it looks in a bit. All right, let's have a look, see. Oi. Shift there, perfect. Right, let's knock that off the heat. Right, well that basically brings us to the end of this video. It's been a cracking, cracking couple of days here. Really enjoyed it. It's been such a relief just to come and just relax and unwind from work for a bit just for this this little overnighter that we've done here. So it hasn't cost a great deal. Cost 30 quid for the night to stay here in the van. 26 quid yesterday, 26 quid today. Uh, but then when you start putting the price of the... <laughs> the tomahawk steaks on that we got then that's when it starts to get a bit expensive but yeah absolute brilliant fishery definitely recommend it um stick a link to their website in the description below so anyway we're going to get all packed up start making our way back home so thank you for watching this video hope you enjoyed it we've had a cracking time it's been absolutely brilliant load of fish and uh yeah really really good time so thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed to the channel then please hit the subscribe button and then as always a couple of videos for you and we'll see you next time on the next one